Okay, she is scuffed up. I put some right now with lacquer thinner and it is ready for the steel flex. I need to sand these down right here. That's the, um, if you can see it with shadows, but that's the um, aluminum bond, metal to metal bondo epoxy kind of stuff. And it had a few small holes. They had a, um, a depth finder there. But around these, uh, where the, I'm sorry, I'm in the way, around where the um, um, boat motor bolts go, there's a lot of little pitting and um, looked like a lot of corrosion around the um, holes and everything. And there's a few, you can see over here where it's been patched, but there's a few there that's been. Um, um, kind of eating through looking and stuff it's windy as all get out today but it's kind of good so to keep the smell off of me um, but I want to go ahead and patch everything fill up all these little pinholes that back here in the back I'm, I'm not going to steel flex this I'm going to paint this back on the back of it that's why I didn't get all the paint off but up here I'm going to um, you can see where it's all you know kind of chewed up a little bit that they said to go ahead and chew it up because the more teeth you basically teeth uh you got on there the more it's going to uh hold anyway it's windy out here i'm about to put some some uh coating on here um and then once we get this done the coat done it takes going six hours to dry 48 hours to cure and we'll flip her over and we'll start on the top. Well, we'll probably start on the outside painting it first, getting all the all the extra stuff off and painting the sides and then I'm gonna strip all the inside. I might I might strip the um, paint off the inside, I'm not sure. Um, not sure yet. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. There's some in the ribs where they screwed the floor down, there's some uh, a lot of corrosion and stuff and holes. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm just going to kind of sand them down and paint them down or if I'm going to go through and patch it, I don't really know yet. I'll figure it out when I get there. Anyway, 1680 Landau, it says it's an offshore series, which, I mean, if you want to see it, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's upside down, but I think I'm gonna take this thing offshore. Um, I might take a mile or two off the beach, you know, when the Spanish are running, or um, you know, a couple of the, the artificial reefs out there, or the live bottoms, and maybe do some uh, flounder fishing or something like that. But it's gonna to have to be pretty calm for me to take this out there. Now it does have a lot of um, foam under the seats and under the bow, but I got another boat off for. Uh, outside that I'd rather feel more comfortable in than this. But hey, you never know. Might be out there red fishing and, you know, get that itch and say, hey, let's take her out the inlet. Uh, probably will. I'll probably try it. Anyway, later.